This is a map made by John White in the late 1500s of the coast of Virginia, Chesapeake Bay, when he was on an expedition with Sir Walter Raleigh, trying to uh, set up new colonies, basically. And as you can see, this map has a big piece of paper put over the top to cover something up. Now, this patch, they say, was done uh, to, so they could redo the shorelines because they weren't done correctly, and that may be true. But there is also this part of the map. This is both on the same map. These are blow-ups. And this part of the map has this, which is another cover-up. And this map is currently at the British Museum. And in 2012, they decided to have a look. Someone, you know, noticed that this was a piece of paper stuck on top. And it looks like it was done, you know, back in the when the map was made or soon after. Uh, but they decided to have a look, up, you know, see if they could see through it. Obviously, they haven't done anything physical to the map, but they were able to see through and see what was underneath. And this is what was underneath, a star. So that's looking very much like what we would call a star fort. It even has a citadel in the middle, sitting on the banks of the river here, and of course covered up because back in the 1500s, there wasn't supposed to be anyone there building these big uh, masonry forts. And of course, star forts were first built in the 1500s, and we're told that they left Italy, the place where they were first designed and built in the 1540s. So how did we get one here in 1585? So let's get in and have a look at the story of John White and the hidden star fort. Okay, so this is another portion of the map drawn by John White. As you can see, map John White, circa 1585, the camp of the Englishman on St. John's Island at St. Walter Raleigh's, Virginia, drawn by John White. And as you can see, we'll have a close look at this later. This is a star city. Look at the walls here. Okay, very um, reminiscent of what we see in all these old world maps, you know, through Europe and all these places uh, that really should have no connection with the Americas in the 1500s. And as I said, this map is kept at the British Museum, and it was back in 2012, May the 3rd, 2012. They made an announcement. Uh, it says, Library archaeologists and scholars from the First Colony Foundation and the British Museum will discuss recently discovered new information previously hidden within the map and possible implications for understanding the eventual fate of Raleigh's lost colonists. So this is talking about uh, when Sir Walter Raleigh went across to the New World, to the USA. You know, John White travelled with him as the cartographer and the artist. And basically they set up a colony, but then everyone disappeared. They've never heard, they never heard from them again. They left them there. You know, historians are looking they're always trying to find out what happened to this lost colony. And so that's what they're wrapping this around, this story of the lost colony, um, you know, so they can steer away from the fact that there's a hidden star for it on that map. And it says, the Virginia Pars map was produced from explorations conducted by members of Sir Walter Raleigh's Roanoke, I think that's right, colony of 1584 to 1590. The remarkably accurate map depicts the coastal area from Chesapeake Bay to Cape Lookout, including the location of many Native American villages visited by the colonists. However, until now, the map provided little information about the location of his planned city of Raleigh or Raleigh. So Walter Raleigh was out there trying to set up, you know, a city named after himself, right? As they do. It does say here under official announcement, portions of a unique late 16th century map in the British Museum which documents voyages to North America for Sir Walter Raleigh have recently been examined and reveal hitherto unseen lines and symbols that have been hidden for centuries. 
using a variety of non-contact scientific methods carefully chosen to be safe to use with early paper, researchers at the British Museum in London are peering at it and through two small patches of paper applied to an Elizabethan map of parts of modern eastern North Carolina and Tidewater, Virginia. The first patch, number one at the southern end of the map, appears to have been applied primarily to allow the artist to alter the coastline. But the second patch, or number two, offers even more exciting finds. It appears to cover a large fort, symbol in a fort symbol in bright red and bright blue, and has a very faint, just barely visible to the naked eye, but much smaller version of a similar shape on the top. There is also a red circle under the patch that may represent an Indian town. The map is part of a larger set of watercolours that gave England and Europe its first accurate views of the New World and North America, drawn by John Wyatt. Oh, so there you go. That's the announcement from the British Museum about this map. Okay, so here we have uh, a bit of the map and this, this we can see uh, this bit here. This is the map before they were looking through and could see the fort underneath. I mean, you can almost kind of see a little bit of it, uh, but that's the cover up on the map. And uh, you know, it was there since the, you know, the 1500s, right? And it took to 2012 for someone to notice it, which is always good. And this is what's under the map, uh, under the, sorry, under the little patch. You know, they just ripped it off, right? They just ripped a bit of paper off and glued it on the top. And as we can see, this is the star fort. Got red inside that looks like, you know, the citadel. Um, here's the dot that he was talking about could be an Indian village. And I'm not sure where the star on top of it. He said there was another star shape on top of it somewhere. But, I mean, definitely looking, you know, very star shaped. And they called it a fort. So, they, you know, they know what it is. It's a star fort that was covered up. And this is the thing. It was covered up, you know, early. I mean, it looks like an early cover up. So... The story is probably that, it, that the map got handed in and someone just said, no, that, that fort can't be there. We can't explain that. It's time for a cover-up. And a cover-up is indeed what they did. Uh, this is a larger map. This is John White as well. And this is, just so you can see, this is Chesapeake Bay up here, Virginia. This is sort of the region we're looking at. And this is the part of the map uh, that they covered up and said it was to do to alter the coastline. Now, I haven't seen any pictures. I mean, no doubt they've looked under this, but they haven't showed us what's under. So, um, you know, we just have to take their word that there's no, it's not full of stuff. What's right? We don't know. And how many other old maps has this happened on? Or, you know, things have just been erased off. We just don't know. This is an old map, uh, Virginia and Florida. Uh, so as you can see, these are what the natives look like. Wanting a big scepter, a nice, you know, hat crown thing on. You know, they're not wearing a lot, but it's probably because it's warm. Uh, but they look, you know, like they've got some fineries. And up here, this is the region, and you can see there's Indian native settlements everywhere. So clearly they've just gone in, you know, they've found some settlements, they've found some old world forts and things, no doubt cities and Probably tried to take them over and and lost, and that's what the lost colony is, right? These people they're trying to find. Uh, again, Chesapeake Bay. I'm not sure what's going on here. It looks like they've tried to rub out someone's symbol. Look at that. Oh, out right there. I mean, this map's dodgy as man, dodgy as. And here's a bigger portion, so you can see this is the first patch, number one down here. And they say that was just to you know to get the coastline's correct and then up here is where the big star is so you can see that's a big 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 structure right i mean you know in in comparison to this map and everything that's a big chunk of land and the star covers almost all of it and i'm not sure where the other part is it might be covered up under here there is another map this part uh, which shows a star city as you can see you know, very reminiscent of the star city walls we see on all the old maps.
up here. Look at this bit here with the, the Ravelin. Uh, it looks like here something was either it's either foundations or it was rubbed out maybe. You can see there's more of it there going across down there. And it's even in the water. It's half sunk. See the wall? This is the party, um, Walter Rally, I think. They've got the horse coming in and trying to take over. Two bands of people, right? And he's a ship. So natives, definitely natives around. And this just looks like it's full of trees, this city. So not much left in there. These might be structures we can see down here. Not sure what's going on. So maybe some remnants in there of some buildings, but it looks like, you know, it's been pretty much claimed out. Hard to see how big it is really with the size of these people. It's probably not perspective. But there you go, right? So this is in the Americas, 1580s, 1585 circa. We've got here a drawing of a star city. And then we have here a drawing of a star fort that was hidden up and covered. So what do you think? Why did they cover that up? Why are they hiding forts? You know, because they're telling us, or they'll try and tell us, you know, the only way they can explain it is if they built it, right? They can't say that there was anything, you know, substantial like masonry and brick and things that was here before, you know, the 1400s, before the Europeans got here. So... That's why they covered it up. They, they know about all this stuff. They know the stars are out there. They know about the grid. They know about the old civilization, but they don't want us to know. Okay, so here we are on Google Earth. Now, this is uh, the region that we were looking at in the map, the Chesapeake Bay area. This is Chesapeake Bay here. And first of all, uh, you can see straight off, we've got some star, old world star action. Uh, so we have Fort Munro, Hampton, Virginia. And as you can see, a nice star with a moat, fully intact. Looking like it's on a man-made island, maybe. Across the water here, we have... Uh, some more old world action. You can see this is an old, what we would call a satellite from a star city. And then we have this area across which, I don't know what's going on here. You know, this is probably a sea wall of some kind, but you no, know, pretty interesting, you know, shoreline here, right? The cutouts and that just looks pretty familiar, but definitely, you know, that's, that's a definite star, right? So this is just at, at the entrance of Chesapeake Bay. Uh, now, when I was trying to trace this map, uh, it was a bit hard to find the, the right sort of where exactly they were talking about. So it, it looks like it was up here, but the river doesn't seem to branch properly like it does in the map. But if we do come in here, you'll see the remains of a fort here, Star Fort. It's got the bottom half by the looks of it, a bit more under the ground that's been buried. Let's spin that around a bit. So you can see it, there you go. Little star fort, you can see this uh, ravelin is buried and looks like there was even more under the ground there. This is the region that they were in. I'm not sure if this is exactly where they were. They were looking at, at a four-pointed star. Right down here, <laughs> we have another citadel maybe. <laughs> the Pentagon, right? And of course, on many old maps, you know, this is Washington. On many old maps, uh, Washington is called Norum Baga. And then not far away, we have possibly the best star fort in the USA. Fort McHenry here. Again, you know, they're all the same out close to the water. Looks like there's more of it underground that's being buried. Just sitting there, which means across, you know, of course, we always go across the water to see what's on the other side. And we find a big car park and mining and strange angles, bits of water you know, inside the land, re remnants of moats or not, we don't know, but you know, there's a few funny looking angles here, right? Who knows? But uh, the point is, this is the area that this map was. So this is Chesapeake Bay here. There we go, about the right way. So this is where they came in. We've got Starforts here. 
they came up these rivers as far as I can tell, and there's all staff what's up here. So I'd say they came up close to Washington and you know there's probably remains all along these coasts. I mean it's a nice part of the world, isn't it? A lot of water. I'm not sure I haven't been up here. Is this like farms or housing? I'm not sure. There's lots of funny shapes here, isn't there? I mean basically this area is, you know, like I said, it's got old world stars in it already. They went up, said they found stars. Someone covered it up literally on a map. Uh, and it stayed covered up for, what, 400 years or more. And now, you know, that they try and cover it up and say they're just looking for this lost colony. But that's clearly a star fort and that's a star city. And these are both in this area. And as we see, I mean, look, there's stars all the way down here. So no doubt, I mean, you can see this line. So I would say in here, it's going to be more remnants. This is why we need to get the LIDARs up on drones and see what's under the ground and of course, this is um, all the. This is just the east coast I've done. These are all not all of them, but just some of the star forts on the east coast of the USA, right through the Caribbean, down into South America. Now they're just everywhere, right? Now um, we come across Asia. Now, of course, most of them have been done in Europe, but these are just. I've only got a thousand or so. There, there's another five thousand or so star forts mapped. Uh, as you can see, way out in the middle of nowhere, some of them, just crazy stuff. Old world remnants all over the realm. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. Lost Star Fort in uh, Chesapeake Bay, Virginia. And like I said, 1500s, which totally destroys the narrative of the Star Fort, which is no doubt why they covered it up. Uh, but we're here to uncover it. So thank you for spending some time with me. Please give me a like, share, subscribe, and a comment. What do you think? Uh, do you think this is as I'm saying? Do you think it was a cover-up? They knew it was there? Or do you think it was just dirt or something else? Or how was it built? Who built it? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for joining me. Have an amazing day. And I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now.